Planning Center's auto schedule feature within the matrix fills all of your needed positions in a couple of clicks. To get started, I'll go into the matrix from my contemporary service. The next thing I'll do is make sure I've set up my needed positions. It looks like I haven't really done that for my first service, so I'll hover over the date at the top and click Needed Positions. My band category is already chosen on the left, so I'll enter how many people I need for each of the remaining positions. And click Accept. You can now see my needed positions have been added. Now let's check to make sure that my positions are set up correctly. By clicking one person needed in my acoustic guitar row, I can see everyone I've assigned to this position. If you haven't set up your positions, watch our video tutorial on setting up people for positions. Next to each person is the date they were last used. This date is important because when auto-scheduling, Planning Center will first choose people who haven't been used in the longest time. So by looking at these dates, it looks like uh, I should be scheduled first, since November 18th is my oldest date. But since I have a conflict, it will skip me and choose the next person, which would be Jeff Spillman. Everything looks good here, so I will cancel out of this. All the rest of my needed positions seem to be set, so I'm ready to go. I will click the auto schedule link at the top, choose my band category only, and click accept. Planning Center schedules from left to right, choosing the people who haven't served in the longest time first, and make sure to avoid any conflicts with other services or blocked out dates. If for some reason you don't like the results of the auto schedule, just click the button again and click to undo. If your primary concern is scheduling all of your volunteers equally, auto scheduling can save you a lot of time. For more information, search our online manual or check out our other video tutorials.